schedule a difficult game like that, but Oklahoma scheduled had a really good year, but they didn't get close to getting it. Did you? Um, well, when I first saw the schedule, I didn't, you know, I wasn't all jacked up about taking our team, our young team on the road to Oklahoma. I mean, that was, you know, I, I like competition and all that, but if you're a wet veteran team, that's been, that was our first road trip. For half that team that got on the plane, they've never done that before. And to go to a place where they never lose, but I think, and I've never got involved in scheduling. I just let my boss do it. But I'm gonna, I'm curious, I want to have a conversation with Gene and listen. And not that I'm gonna give my input, but I just think as we go forward, uh, that's critical on who you're playing early in the season. Obviously it benefited us. And, and I think Oklahoma, you watched them play the other day, they're as fine a team as there is in college football. If they didn't lose that game, they'd be in the playoff. Those are all things that, uh, a lot of conversation. It's, you know, it's, it's razor thin, the difference between value of a conference championship and I think Kirk Kerbstreit said it best too and <clears throat> I actually talked to him yesterday that you know it was everything to get to the Rose Bowl and to I grew up with that and it's I don't want to say it's sad I don't want to say it's disappointing but you know I remember when I was in Florida we lost one game went to Sugar Bowl and everybody was upset right? that's why you that used to be a big part of everything I, I just hope we don't lose too much of that because that's still the Rose Bowl it's still a conference champion and, uh, but it's all good college football is as strong as it's ever been Thank you, guys.